Megan the Box, and it's a beautiful spring day in Texas. And I hit a few yard sales today. Let me show you what I got. So we are here at my car, and we are gonna go through each and every item that I picked up. I spent right around $60 for everything that you see here, and it's like 52 items is what I counted. And it came out to a dollar sixteen per item. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up, I have these. Oh, it's flipped over. I have these adorable little charms. I couldn't pass up on. Very cute. A box of brand new flatware. And this I plan on using as a prize, possibly, for my group drawings. Got Halloween and Insidious. This belt is really cool. It has the years 1836 to 1986. And it's got the Texas on there very neat and it has the name Ken on it somewhere right here very neat got a Care Bear plush vintage my hair is getting in the way we have a, a very cool guess leopard print eyeglass case And this mug was so pretty. I had not, I, I couldn't pass it up for that. And it is my Hallmark. And I have a couple more pieces to go with this. So I will be bundling these all together. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Bowl and plate. And I currently have a set of five of these up for auction in my group on Facebook. These seem to be a very hot item right now. A rooster mug. This is one of those glass items that you put on the light, the little light thing. Very cool and it has dolphins. Some chicken salt and pepper shakers and I did check to make sure nothing was chipped everything is perfect a couple of carnival glass candlestick holders beautiful color absolutely beautiful this I picked up because it appeared to be handmade and hand-painted very well done and it's very lightweight an adorable Hello Kitty lunch kit that's in leopard print very cute a camouflage arctic tumbler with the lid and I believe it's a 24 ounce a sweet tea tin coffee cup. Super cool. <laughs> Ooh, before I forget these hats, we have a Panama Jack hat and it is kind of distressed as you can see. And a Houston Raceway Park with flames hat. Very neat. I picked this up because I currently have a tree in the front of my house that has two baby owls that look like this in it. <laughs> Had to get that. A little beanie ghost. And I also have these. Another beanie baby ghost. And this one has trick or treat on his little bag. And I don't think I did this one yet. This is a game controller and it's exclusively by GameStop. 
not, if I'm not mistaken, it goes to the GameCube. This is for the PlayStation. I always pick these up when I know what they go to. That way, if we need one, we have one. Next, these are unbranded and they're in excellent shape. I thought they were Uggs at first, but they are not. They're very neat. These are by The Sack and there are they're like a embroidered type of shoe. Very cool looking pattern. And they even have a charm on the back, as you can see. I'm trying to get to the stuff in the back. This is a very heavy Batmo Batmobile. And I have no idea what this thing's going to go for, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go for something. I didn't even think to try it. But that's cool. Pick these Ted Baker shoes up. Very nice. And they even have like a little charm here. Very nice condition. They didn't even be worn at all. That's the backs of them. Very nice. Okay, moving right along. We've got a couple of Wilton mini bunt cake pans. Got a pretty good deal on those. This is a Build-A-Bear Husky. He's in great shape. Very nice. And this right here brought back memories. Bad mitten. Figured that would be cool for summertime coming up. A butterfly plate, which it's a little bit dirty, but that's okay. It can be cleaned. This is a Wilton lamb cake pan. Very nice. A cat in the hat accessory kit and it has the hat, gloves, and bow tie all inside here. If you want to dress up as Dr. Seuss. Of course I picked up some tissue paper because it helps me in shipping my items. Got this very nice Betsy Johnson purse. Double handled purse. It's got that cute little charm bow. And that's the ins inside of it. Very clean. Very nice. Okay, we're just going to skip around here. And these are by Lux Nation. And they are very, very nice. Very cool embroidery and embellishments here. And they're very starched. <laughs> <laughs> very, very starched. And I picked up a few beach towels. This one has flip flops. This one has some kind of design. This one has some anchors. This one is floral. And this one is kind of geometric. Very neat. These are cool. Next is this cute purple bag with this little turn lock closure and it is by Worthington. Excellent shape here. Very nice. There's this coach bag and I do believe it is real from looking at the tag on the inside. It says it does say this is a coach bag. It was handcrafted in China from
from the finest materials and it does have the number and everything there it's in almost tip-top condition next I did realize later on that this one does have some issues but the exterior is almost perfect it's very neat how they have this put together and it is a crossbody and then this one I got because it is floral and it has butterflies and it's also a crossbody and I didn't see a name brand but I will Google Lens this and see if I can't find a similar one. That way I can get a name brand on that one. And last but not least is this Kathy Van Zeeland faux snake skin or crocodile skin purse. It's very nice with the emblem there. And it's kind of a bluish purple color. And that's the back and the interior is very clean and it even has a charm here <laughs> so all right and so that completes my haul for today i spent right around 60 dollars for everything that you see here and it was like 52 items all together and so if you see anything you are interested in be sure to check out my Poshmark Closet, Facebook group, Mercari, and my eBay store. I will leave the links to all of those below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family. And until next time, bye y'all.